morning to all traders and welcome to our daily market insights video provided to you by Orbex. Gold bulls seem to have found a good support at 1320 and this is supported by the recent uh, Trump's attack towards Fed regarding policy setting. He literally says that the Fed has no clue regarding its policy. <laughs> what else are we going to hear? I'm not sure. But um, I would be staying tuned to uh, Mr. Trump's Twitter. Uh, oil on the other side, on the other hand, seems bearish once again after the API reported a build uh, in stocks again for the week ending June 6. Now, will the $50 uh, per barrel hold this time or are we going to head to fresh yearly lows? We're going to find it very soon. And um, today's a EIA report is actually going to give us further clues on that. Uh, what else we expect on the economic calendar uh, is uh, ECB Fred Draghi's speech at 11.15, uh, uh, some uh, not as major other uh, speeches uh, by RBA and ECB as well. And then, of course, we have the uh, US CPI, which is one of the uh, highlights for the day. Now, I want to go on to the charts, and I want to start with gold to our uh, time frame. As we talked about gold last week, we were expecting an impulse move to the upside, and this has actually um, uh, it's panned out quite quite well uh, after the breaking of this triangle. Uh, we're into an impulse wave now. Uh, most likely this is looking of uh, like a wave three with a wave four correction down here and potentially another move to the upside for a wave five. Now, um, whether this is the end of this correction is still unknown, but uh, if we take into consideration the RSI and the MACD signals, that might be the case. So um, if we are closing around the uh, 38 Fibonacci, around 13.16, actually prices went around 13.20, uh, then this is looking to create uh, another wave five that is going to go uh, above uh, wave three quite for, uh, for a bit because uh, this correction uh, it, or pullback only to the 38.2 indicates that uh, uh, the market will be quite bullish. So we should be looking probably at 13.65 if we break above that level. Now if we go down on the one hour chart, we can see uh, some further clues, of course. The RSI, the MACD, gave us a very good uh, signal here on the downside. Okay, now within the uh, wave three, we'll have another sub uh, wave, impulse up wave, which ended up to 1348. Now the correction went down to 1320. Okay, it could simply be wave A of the correction with another wave V uh, be expected to complete anywhere between uh, 1330 and 1340 and then we should be completed wave C. Now on the, um, on the RSI and OMACD, if you notice just down here, we could be expecting a bearish hidden divergence signal on both to occur. That would drive prices a little bit higher and from here is where we could start looking for sales um, in the short term. And from here then we are looking to break below 1319, go anywhere between uh, 13, 11, and 13, actually. I wouldn't want to go below the 13. If we go anywhere below 13, that, was, that would invalidate this uh, move to the upside. Now, of course, the invalidation point uh, would be the 1348. If prices break above that, above that level, then we should be looking to move higher above 1350, above 1360. Uh, if, of course, we get a good breakout candle uh, above this level, okay? Uh, that it's quite important because it could turn out to be another bull's break where uh, we should expect prices to consolidate within these levels. Now on the oil, I want to start with the two hours chart as well. We talked about the oil move and uh, last week prices went exactly to the level we're expecting. Uh, we are actually now moving uh, on a correction up to uh, moved to 54.60. Uh, we're probably looking at wave B over here and then prices to move back above to 54 or 56.80. And from there, we should be looking for prices to go below for a wave five. Wave five should be um, quite lower than the 50 level. So we should be looking at also breaking below the 50 psychological level. Uh, we do get some signs on the MACD and RSI. So uh, for that reason, I do have some... Um, 
um, re reversed on uh, reserved the bids on on this uh, last move to the upside. That would simply just turn out to be a small move, and then we're looking at prices breaking below. This, of course, uh, the 50.59 would be our um, validation point to the downside. In case prices move to uh, this level, we should be looking at uh, creating a double top here and then moving down. Same validation point. If prices break above C, let me just delete this quickly. If prices break above C, then probably looking at 56.86 or maybe even a very deep correction to 56.69. To uh, if we go down on the one now, I think I have uh, spotted a couple more levels. Uh, yes, because this, this is the one, two, three, four, five, then the last deep would be the last correction in validation point as well, would be the sixth level. This is the uh, top of wave one, okay? So if prices go above that level, then we should be looking at entering in corrective, a uh, consolidating market, and that would invalidate the downside move. But from where we are now, this can be a, an ABC, this can turn out as a zig zigzag, or uh, worse, uh, another scenario could be just this turns out to be a double zigzag, and we could be looking from sales after breaking below this uh, trend line. But don't forget, <clears throat> on the short term, we have some uh, good indications on both the RSI and MACD, uh, and that could um, actually push prices a little bit lower towards the 50-59, or below that level. <clears throat> so I want to thank you for uh, being with us for another day. If you like our video, hit the like button. I would recommend, as always, that you keep an eye on our blog. It's where we'll cover the latest news, publish trading ideas, and provide all the necessary tools a trader needs.